the chance have given me the opportunity to to play with with some really great players and play at some really great clubs. There's a lot of players and coaches and staff come through there and go on to higher honours. For me personally, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed playing in this league. It's it's fast, it's physical, and it, and it gets harder year on year. And I think it's made me a better player and probably a better person as well. I had two spells at London Scottish. The first one was 2011 to 2016, where I played uh, 123 games for the club. We did pretty well on that sort of time. We went from semi-professional to professional in the first 12 to 18 months, uh, which was good. We had a good, good coaching cook group, good management, medical team, really good playing group. And I think that came to the fore in the 2014-15 season where we made the um, semi-finals and played home and away against a very good Worcester side that eventually ran out and won, that, won the champ and got promotion that year. The five years I spent at Scottish in that first stint was, was very enjoyable, very similar to the club that I, was back, that I played for back in New Zealand. Uh, I've got lifelong friends that I made at London Scottish. You know, it, it, it does mean a lot to me and my family. My, my kids, two of my, two of my sons are still, still playing for London Scottish at the moment. So I'm down there most Sundays helping or watching them play. Yeah, moving to Ealing was a, uh, it was a big, big call to be fair. You know, I'd been at Scottish for five years. I was comfortable. I was playing a lot. You know, going to another club, would I fit in? Um, all these things were running through my mind. But in the end, Ben Ward and Ealing came in, made an offer to my agent. So we decided to, to head over to Ealing, which was, uh, you know, a very enjoyable two years, a very ambitious club. Got me out of my comfort zone, pushed really hard. We went from 11th up to second in the, in the champ by the time I'd finished and we won a BNI Cup. So yeah, it was a pretty successful two years. Really good teammates as well. Made me feel welcome and fitted in easily. Obviously two years there and then back to Scottish for two or three before COVID hit. Yeah, signing for Richmond um, come about pretty much after I've been sitting idle for 15 odd months due to COVID. Obviously I was at Scottish and we trained but didn't play in that COVID season and so like I said I had 15 months off and wanted to get back. So sat down, had a meeting with Hilly and liked what I heard and I just wanted to get back and play some rugby and I'm very appreciative that they were keen to get me on board at 42 or 43 when I signed there, you know, and I've, and I've loved every minute of it so far. I was a bit hesitant on how I'd fit in coming from Scottish, but the boys have been really, really good about it, you know, fitted in really well, and made me feel really welcome. You know, there's still a couple of games left to go, but looking forward to finishing the season off strong. I mean, work-wise outside of rugby, I uh, do a little bit of coaching here and there at, at my wife's school. Sometimes help out coaching with my boys on a Sunday and a bit of labouring. That's what I'm doing at the moment. You know, it keeps you fit, keeps you moving, so it's all good. Yeah, obviously there's been a, been a few people, oh, a lot of people that supported me along the way. Um, obviously my mum and dad is my agent. Johnny Jabinda Charles. Lastly, but not least, is my wife, Angela, who's had to put up with me playing rugby. I think she thinks I probably would have been finished playing rugby by now, but you know, a big thank you goes out to her for putting up with me and, and letting me play the game that I love. 